Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, poles, that's a hundred. Yeah. Just then? Yeah. That went up to oh. 105. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even, I've waited to make this video for five days. That's, I've been trying to contemplate how I'm about to word what I'm gonna say in this video, and it's taken me five days. I, I, play that intro please. Okay, quick backstory before I play all of the footage. Um, in case you guys don't know, I own Contagion Athletics. We have the CA Auto Spawn Detail Shop inside of the gym. So we do ceramic coatings and all that stuff. So somebody that we know um, who owns a couple Chick-fil-A's in Amarillo, awesome dude. Um, he's been coming to our gym even when I had the small gym. So he got a new Tesla Plaid, called me, you know, before it came in, wanted to get, you know, ceramic coated, paint cracked, all the good stuff. So drops it off. He's like, hey, what time are you free? I said, four o'clock. Why? What's up? He's like, I want you to drive it and go for a ride in it. I said, I am down. I want to know what the hype is about. And if you guys know, like I'll be straight up and you ask most Tesla owners, the paint quality is shitty. The interior is meh for what you pay. But I wanted to see what the hype was about because in videos you really can't tell. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Mopar muscle car person. Um, and I'm fairly against EVs from what they stand for. I'm not gonna get into that, but, so I was like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity for me to see what the hype is about. Now I'm gonna play the footage. Uh -huh. To me, the drag strip mode doesn't, still doesn't pull as, I mean, it's just, I can't discern a difference. Right. Maybe when you're on the strip and you're shaving off a- Right, we can actually like, tell. Right. Yeah, you're timing it. To me, it's still crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't get old. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's like a roller. Like that's what. Yeah, it feels like yeah. a roller coaster. My boys love it. Oh shit! <laughs> that is pretty gnarly. That's it. I, just you're just sitting the there. Yeah, yeah, you just sit there, and then all of a sudden, like, we'll come off this line. This is from zero. That is wild. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy yeah, shit! Yeah, poles. That's a hundred. Yeah. Just then? Yeah. That went up to one hundred five. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that wild? That pulls a lot. Yeah. What else? Here, we'll do it from 40 here. Let's see if I can... Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus. Okay, sorry. Still surprised to be so dumb. Uh, and it's awesome because it's all-wheel drive. So, yeah. like, you don't have to worry about spinning out or anything. Yeah, the... Man, I can't imagine what he's going to do with the... Uh... The roadster. With the roadster, because this is running with that. Well, it's that was supposed to be, right? Yeah. yeah. So. That is crazy. I'm trying to figure out a safe way to do this. If you go, if you turn on that road, and then you okay. can take the access road all the way, and there's usually never anybody on there. Okay, on the access road. To get here from, let's do it from 30. That thing is just like <laughs> neck breaking. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. This is how I felt. I was riding the passenger seat, and I 
I knew it was going to be fast. Quick, fast. When he punched it for the first time, I said to myself, holy shit. And I had a few emotions. One, I was like, wow, this, this power is incredible. The other thing that I quickly said to myself before I enjoyed the rest of the ride was like, uh, it, combustion engines will be gone. 100%. Now, he took me around. I mean, I, it was like riding in a roller coaster is the only way that I could sp explain it because there's no sound. Like, it just fucking pulls. And it, with the Tesla Plaid, it keeps pulling. I know people have rode in Teslas before. And, like, after you get to 60, they kind of slow down. In one of the videos, we go from a stop to 100, and I'm like, it, it, I felt like I blinked. Now, being a passenger, obviously, it's going to experience a lot differently than the driver, because the one thing that the passenger doesn't have over the driver, you can be as ready as you want. I'm going to know when I press the gas, passenger isn't, right? So you kind of mentally prepare for that. By the time I was ready to drive, which I didn't get any footage of because I didn't want to ask him to hold the camera or my phone, it was like, so the only way that I can explain this, the only way that I can explain this, if you guys don't know me, I had an eight second Hellcat charger. It was pushing like 1250 wheel horsepower. It felt like, now when I'm driving, it felt like that car, except I'm doing it on the fucking street. Now you gotta remember, I ran an eight second quarter mile on a insanely prepped track on drag radials, right? We're talking about on fucking street tires, having all that power all wheel drive. It is, my thoughts about EVs to the side, it's fucking insane. Like I literally got out of the car after he left and I'm thinking to myself, what did I just experience? From a power performance perspective only. And I knew, I knew these things would be fast. Until you ride in one, I can't sit here and explain what it feels like. It's scary at one time. It's scary for part of it. It's sad for other reasons. It's scary because, I mean, the these cars, I mean, we're, we're barely getting to the tip of how fast you can make these cars. Now, Dodge is obviously coming out with an all-wheel drive electric car. I would bet my fucking nuts that it's going to be a seven-second car from the factory. You know, my thing is, where does it end? Like... The amount of power that these... And you got to remember, a Tesla Plaid is like 5,200 pounds without passengers. With us two, we're talking like, I don't know, 55, 5,600. I mean, incredibly fast. Now, interior-wise, paint-wise, all that shit, nah. I mean, it's not that great, to be honest with you. Power, though... I, I literally... You could ask my brother. I literally got out of the car. I didn't know what, like... I didn't know what to say because you're coming. I'm hardcore fucking muscle car, horsepower, uh, you know, internal combustion engine. I need the fucking noise person, which I still do because it's still very odd sitting in the car and there's no noise. You can't rev it. It doesn't sound cool. Blah, 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 blah. From a power only perspective, it's scary. It really is scary. Um, it's it's wild to me. Like, I would love to take that car on the drag strip. And obviously, I know they can run 8s from the factory, like 890s or whatever. But just to feel that on a prep track with drag radials, like, I'd love to feel that and see what the difference is between, like, my charger versus that. It's insane. Um, you know... I knew that, obviously, internal combustion engines would be, like, for sure going away. No, they are f for sure going away. And I totally understand now 
what everybody's hype about electric motors are. Now, again, politics aside, and you're worrying about the power, it's incredible. Incredible. Uh, now, are you going to, like, I told my wife, and she's like, well, would you get one? And I'm like, no, I would not. One, it's 150 grand. I could get a fucking Viper for that. And I don't give a shit how slow a Viper is compared to that. I'd much rather have a Viper. Number two, to me, still being a muscle car person, being a noise person, needing an exhaust and stuff, I haven't always had like the fastest car. So having a car that is no like my track hawk, I never get sick and tired of doing cold starts on it. Never. TRX never gets sick and tired of it. I love it. So I would really miss that part of the engine, like the heart of it, the soul of it. That's what I would miss. Performance side, it's wild. Like I could probably make a video for 20 minutes talking about how wild it is, but you don't want to hear that. So this is me, Kevin Van Voris, saying that Tesla Plaid was fucking nuts. And that's just, I mean, props to Tesla. That that thing is insane. And I, you know, again, we're, we're just at the tip. We are literally at the tip. That's what she said. So anyways, um, I want to give you guys my experience at, with a Tesla Plaid. And uh, incredible from a performance perspective. Incredible. So, anyways, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you to all the new subscribers, all the new viewers, and all the OGs. I hope you guys have an awesome day. My name is Kevin Van Voris. I'm out this bitch.